Welcome to my channel. In Butterfly, by doing an arm stroke, you gain a lot of speed. Immediately after the stroke, the speed starts to slow down. This is because both hands have done the stroke. And at this point, I'm returning forward to start the next stroke. You probably already know that to make the hand return easier after the arm stroke, you need to improve the flexibility of your shoulders by doing dryland hand rotations. The majority of swimmers don't have good enough flexibility of the shoulders. And that's why the hand return is so difficult for them. However, if you start doing rotations before getting into the pool to swim, over time you'll find that your hand return has become much easier. While doing dryland exercises, you can also do butterfly rotations leaning forward, as you can see in the video. This drill will imitate your hand return in the water. Remember to be relaxed when returning the hands forward. Also, don't turn your hands in the second part of the rotation, but keep your hands in the same position as in the end of the first part of the arm stroke. I will talk about the mistake that many swimmers do later in this video. In the first lesson, we discussed that rotation exercise with a rubber band will help you to improve the flexibility of your shoulders. Remember to use an easy stretching band. Take a look at the swimmer in the video. While doing the exercise, both shoulders rotate at the same time, not one by one. For the next exercise, you need to lay on the mat and keep your hands near your legs. To start the exercise, lift the back up as you do in the end of the arm stroke. Once it's done, you move your hands through the side and forward. At the same time, you lower your back and lift the legs up. By doing this movement, you transfer your weight forward. This preserves the speed that you've gained and will greatly ease your swimming. Once it's done, you need to return your hands backwards, lower the legs down and lift up the back. By doing this exercise, you will learn how to correctly do an important technical element and your swimming will be smooth and easy. I will tell you how to do this movement in the water in the next lesson. Lesson number 5 Dryland exercises and flexibility of your shoulders are crucial for correct hand return. By doing it on land, you can train the movements that are difficult to do in the water while swimming. The ease of your hand return will depend on how flexible your shoulders are. The more flexibility you gain in your shoulders, the easier it is for you to swim. The main goal of the hand return is to transfer the hands forward in order to start a new arm stroke. You already know that in butterfly, the swim gains the maximum speed right after the arm stroke. However, it takes a lot of energy to perform the stroke. Therefore, Correct and smooth movement of the body and legs will ease the work of the hands. While returning the hands forward, an important task for the swimmer is to recover the arm muscles and to preserve the speed that they already have. During the arm stroke, you use your arm's muscles to perform the stroke. After the stroke, you return the hands forward and the main point is to keep hands relaxed and rotate only the shoulders for the hand return. Your hand and arm muscles should be relaxed to recover for the next arm stroke. Thus, the muscles perform the work in the water, but in the air they recover. Some swimmers try to return the hands to the forward position as fast as possible. They throw the arms forward and keep them tense. By doing this, the muscles are always tense and they become tired very quickly. Another mistake which can be often seen is when swimmers stop and slow down the arm after an arm stroke. If you are not sure whether you have these mistakes, you can take a video of your swimming and compare it with the video of Alexander swimming in our lessons. This mistake occurs when the swimmer does the technical elements, arm strokes, kicks and body movements separately, but not simultaneously. In other words, firstly, the swimmer does an arm stroke, then they do the breath. When the breath is done, they start to return their hands forward. 
The main reason for this mistake is that the swimmer thinks about these elements separately. This is why their technique doesn't succeed. It is important to focus on performing all the elements with the correct technique. Firstly, the arm stroke. Then immediately return the hands forward and at the same time take the breath. Once you start returning your hands forward without stopping after the arm stroke, you will notice how much easier it is for you to swim. The hand return should start after straightening the arms after the arm stroke. And it should be done with straight and relaxed arms. Pay attention to the hand position. From the third butterfly lesson, you learned the right position of the hand during the arm stroke. Let me remind you, your palm and inside part of the hand should be turned down, while the elbow and outer hand should be turned upwards. You should finish the arm stroke in this position. And for a correct hand return, keep the hands in this position, not turning them over in the air. This means that the thumb must be closer to the water surface than the little finger. Many amateur swimmers turn their hands during the return, which negatively affects the body position in the water. In this case, the shoulder and chest will open up and start directing upwards, but not forward. Always remember to keep the hands in the same position as in the end of the arm stroke. While returning the hands forward, the swimmer should take a breath. For the correct breath, you should only lift your chin up, while keeping your back in a horizontal position, with forward direction. In the end of the arm stroke, your back starts lifting up from the water, to fly over water surface. Therefore, the back is above the water surface. And to breathe, you don't actually need to do anything, but simply lift the chin up. You should start moving your chin up when finishing an arm stroke. Take a breath at the same time as returning the hands forward. And move your head down into the water, before the hands enter the water in front of you. A common mistake is when a swimmer's move not only their head up, but also the back and shoulders too. Doing this, a swimmer will rise too high above the water. Any additional movements up and down affect the swimming speed negatively due to an increase in water resistance. Therefore, it is important to do smooth and effective movements to move forward. To train the horizontal position during the breath, you can swim taking a breath every second stroke. You must remember the body position you have when you don't breathe and try to keep the same position during the breath. In the middle of the arm stroke, you should start breathing out the air you have stored in your lungs in order to be ready to breathe in after the arm stroke. After the breath, it is important to put your head back into the water before the hands enter the water. If you do, as I suggest, Starting doing the breath immediately after the arm stroke and returning relaxed hands to the forward position, you will have plenty of time to breathe in and you will move the head down into the water at the right moment. The hand return should be done as far forwards as possible and the hands should enter the water at shoulder width. This will allow you to keep the speed, glide forward and get the right position for starting a new arm stroke. Also, think about stretching out your body and your movements in the water, in order to achieve the long position that will help you with speed and glide. One mistake that is common is when swimmers put their hands into the water too widely. This slows down the speed, and the hands position will be very bad for starting the next arm stroke. The arms are kept too wide, and such a position will not facilitate long and effective arm strokes. Gliding forwards also won't be possible. Therefore, to train correct butterfly technique, try to put your hands into the water at shoulder width and as far as possible in front of you. At the moment when hands enter the water, don't throw them into the water, instead slowly put them down.
Often, swimmers make the mistake that while returning their hands forward, they try to move them as fast as possible. It makes the entire body tense and causes the hands to tie quickly. The hand return should be done with an average speed and with relaxed hands, just a little bit above the water surface. How often do you like to breathe? Every stroke, every second or every third? We'll discuss it in a later video. Like the video and subscribe to the channel.